Hey everybody, it's Rachel o Beauty, and today's video is a viewer's request. You had a question for me and I'm ready to answer. So if you wanna see my tips for someone who's newly natural, please stay tuned and watch today's video. celebrating 5,000 fans on Facebook. It seems like it has taken me forever to get here, which I can't quite figure it out because I have a really larger following on Instagram, but my Facebook fan page, it seems has taken me forever to grow it. But I'm not complaining, I'm grateful for all 5,000 of you. And to celebrate what I thought I would do is ask you to submit a question that you would like to ask me on my Facebook fan page. I'm Rachel O Beauty on Facebook, and I'm going to be answering questions all February long. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This first question is from Ray Jeanne. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And you say that you are newly natural, you just big chopped, and you wanted to know if I had any suggestions for someone who is newly natural. Well, I have been natural for 15 years, and of course, in that span of time a lot has changed since then you have so many more options in regards to products education styles you have a whole lot out there for you to look into being newly natural and if you're anything like me or anyone else that's newly natural at times it can be a little bit overwhelming so the first thing I want to recommend to you is get to know your hair. A lot of times when someone is newly natural, the first thing that they do is run out to the store and they buy all of these products and end up becoming a product junkie because you have got every natural hair product out there on the market. And don't get me wrong, you definitely do need to find a product that's going to work well for you. But first and foremost, get to know your hair, get to know your texture, get to know what works best for you. And the best way to do that is just wash it condition it, see what it's like with no product in. And then based upon what you want it to do, do you want it to be curly? Do you want it to be shingly? Do you want it to be undefined? Do you want to just rock it the way it grows out of your head? And then based upon how you want to style it, what's going to work best for your lifestyle, the amount of time that you have, you'll find a lot of products out there best for you. Secondly, YouTube is probably going to be one of your greatest resources. I have lots of videos here on my channel, but you'll also find a lot of other beauty experts out there that are showing you how to style your hair if you've got 4C hair, you know, 3B, all these different hair types. Um, you will find a variety of helpful videos on YouTube and of course blogs as well. Um, speaking of hair types, I don't personally like the hair typing system because I think it does more to divide us than to unify us in the natural hair community. However, but I realize, I recognize that for someone that is newly natural or if you're someone that just really needs to have a lot of details so that you can feel comfortable in what you're doing, then you may find the hair typing system helpful for you. So definitely kind of Google it, check into the hair typing system, see if you can find some pictures of hair that look similar to yours. And just based upon that, you should find a lot of styles and products that individuals are saying work well for, for your specific hair type. Lastly, because I want to keep this video short, but obviously I can go on and on and on about natural hair. My favorite and number one um suggestion is to get into a routine that works well for you. I really, really love the LOC method, which means after you wash, you put a leave-in conditioner and oil and cream on. I found that this works really well for my hair texture as well as any other natural hair texture. So if you don't do anything else while you're getting together your products, your routine, and your education, check out the LOC method and try to integrate that into your routine because I think it'll make styling your hair a lot much easier for you. Also, there are a lot of protective styles that are out on the market. So you can do Marley twists. You can do something like this. This is actually a wig that I'm wearing, but it's obviously a kinky looking wig. You can do head wraps. So many different things that you can do if you're feeling kind of awkward and not, you know, really confident in your natural hair. 
So I hope that these tips have been helpful for you. Don't forget you guys, I'm celebrating the 5,000K. I'm celebrating 5,000 likes on my Facebook fan page. And so I want you to drop a message just to say hello, but especially to ask me a question and I'm going to answer it in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for asking your question and trusting in me to give you good advice. Please keep me updated and I'll see you guys next week in a new video.